Check it out. Yeah, look at that. Shop's looking better every day. Hope everyone has had a really good past couple weeks. I have been very busy. There's been a lot of stuff going on, which is, it's really cool. If you're busy, I guess that's a good thing. Uh, being busy is a whole lot better than just not having anything to do. But anyway, um, got a couple of really cool things. A nice long letter from Dennis Rock. Uh, appreciate that. I'm probably going to write you back. And then also, um, Chris Williams made me these, made some of these uh, uh, paracord bracelets and uh, key, key fob, key fab, key fob things. Um, paracord. I didn't know this, but uh, I always thought these were just for decorations or whatever, but you can take these apart and he said each one of these key fobs has about five feet of 550 paracord in them. And the 550 paracord means each strand can hold 550 pounds. But anyway, you can take these apart in emergency situations and reuse the paracord for whatever you need. So these, this one's got about five feet in it and each one of these bracelets has about 10 feet in it. And if you haven't noticed, red and white, yeah, red and white, and then the whole blue and silver, yeah. Man knows his colors, yeah. And I got one more, I got a, a Red Wings key fob that I've already been using, so I really appreciate that, that's pretty cool, thank you. Also got my uh, Drunken Woodworker stickers, I bought some stickers from David, he's got some for sale you can check out, but I've got the log profile, and uh, the Drunken Woodworker logo, and the Make Something sticker, so I'm going to go put these up here in just a minute, but before I do, I got one more sticker from Richard Nicholas, he is... Uh, da, da, da. Uh, my cousin John and I formed a geocaching team called Cashin Cousins, pronounced Cashin Cousins, that specializes in de designing and building custom geocaching hides, as well as geocache related items. And I knew a little bit about geocaching, but I didn't know the whole thing about it, so I researched it a little bit, and... In case you didn't know what geocaching is, I will explain. Geocaching is a treasure hunting style game that you play with a handheld GPS unit for or a smartphone with a geocaching app. You can find out more at geocaching.com. But he sent me a sticker, Cashin Cousins, and he sent me some pictures of some other stuff that he's designed for uh, the geocaching events. That um, I'll post some pictures of these. But some really cool stuff, a huge log memo notebook thing. And, uh, and speaking of which, I'm curious how you made the massive spiral on there. So that'd be cool to know. But uh, yeah, some really cool stuff and I very much appreciate that. So let's go put the stickers on the, oh, I got one more sticker. So it's not really a sticker, but it's a sticker now. And I got this for Christmas. Oh yeah, look at that. Booyah! And double-sided sticky tape means it's a sticker. So what's going up there? Booyah! Booyah! Continually pleasantly surprised at all the generosity of everyone out there here lately and um, I very much appreciate it and, and World full of negativity and, and all kinds of bad stuff. That's all over the news It's very nice to see some positivity and some some kindness from people. So thank you very much for all of that here lately I'm so distracted in between projects I always find some small stuff to do in between that ends up putting off the actual projects that I want to complete so this is my old, old ancient Dell that I had. This is what I used to start, or this is what I used to um, edit my videos on when I first started doing this whole YouTube thing. But um, this thing has been destroyed and pieces replaced and all that stuff. But I've, uh, I rebuilt it with Linux on it now for here in the shop. And I want to make some type of small little mini cart that this thing can be attached to with a keyboard and monitor. That way I can have something here in the shop and um, uh, if I'm working on something, instead of going into the house to get a certain dimension off a SketchUp file that I may have forgotten, 
I can get it all right here in the shop because as soon as I go inside I'm so easily distracted by this going on or the dogs or then there's the kitchen and me and food we go way back so um, if I can keep a computer in the environment in which I'm most productive which is here in the shop then hopefully that'll keep me on track as far as what I'm doing um, if not I guess it'll be fun to hang out on uh, Google Plus Hangouts while I'm here in the shop as well as maybe do some live streaming. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to throw a quick stand together sometime. Speaking of SketchUp, a lot of people have asked me where I get the actual tool models for the SketchUp designs that I've been making. Um, I showed my shop kind of in SketchUp this past weekend in a video and I did have a couple different tools in there and I get them all from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. I'll post a link in the description. Uh, for the actual bookmark that I have to get the tools. You just go on there and you search for whatever. You may not find that exact table saw, but you can download one that looks like yours or is the approximate size and then adjust from there. Like the, the miter saw that I have in my SketchUp model for the miter saw station is actually a replica of a DeWalt sliding miter saw and I just extended the arm to match this rigid and then changed the colors to orange. So instantly it's a, it's a rigid miter saw. But yeah, I get them all from the 3D warehouse and I'll post a link from that. So I've been cracking away at getting this shop organized and little by little I'm starting to uh, get things into a decent workflow and decent um, space in here. Once I get this miter saw station done, then it's pretty much going to be nothing but furniture projects, stuff for the house, so I can get a bunch of stuff accomplished. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So, hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you Sunday.